Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. If you've been watching the past couple videos that I've posted, you've probably noticed that we've been focusing on different techniques on how to share design intent. And what I'd like to cover today is kind of picking up where we left off with the cloud rendering. Cloud rendering is a great tool, um, but you can also find some pretty great features inside the actual application Revit. And one of those is solar studies. So today, uh, we're going to take a look at how to set up some really quick views and what I wanted to do is just show you a couple examples on what you can do to find out what your interior spaces are going to look like with the orientation. So I've got a couple of these quick views that I've set up and with this shade mode it really doesn't take that long at all to render these out. Um, so it's something that you might want to explore a little bit. So let's get into it. So I've got a view set up here and knowing that uh, I like what I see from the ones that I've done before, I'm going to take this with a, a little bit more enhanced shading and when I go down to the teapot here in the bottom of the viewport, I'm just going to click on that and you'll get the rendering settings. So in here you've got uh, a few options. Right now for the lighting, I don't really want to worry about any of the interior lighting. Um, I'm just going to stick with an interior sun only just to see what we get as far as daylight. And then under sun settings you want to click on this button here with the three dots and you'll get a dialog box. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to single day and we can use one day solar study or we can choose some of these that are already in place. So if I choose uh, spring equinox, uh, it's kind of fitting for the time of year I guess. It's uh, set up for March 31st, 2010. So we could go back in time a little bit and um, right now you'll see that it says 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You could just check the sunrise to sunset option as well and then underneath that you have some intervals. So I like to stick with the shortest interval for 15 minutes and then you can choose your ground plane. So I'm going to choose the ground plane at uh, the top of footing. No, I want main floor and then we'll say apply and you'll notice that when we click apply we should see some differences in the shadows in this view so we'll say OK and you'll notice that we get some early morning uh, shadows in here okay so I'll close that down and then I'll come up to my application menu here and under export I'm going to scroll down until I see images and animations and we'll just click on solar study and we'll get another dialog box in here that lets us basically choose um, some more options like the visual style so right now I've got realistic with edges I don't really want realistic with edges I, I actually want the full rendering of this so I'll choose all frames and it's only going to be a quick three second animation but if you want, you can increase your frame rate to get it a little smoother, but you'll notice as you increase that frame rate, the total time of the animation does come down. So I'm just going to leave it at 20 for the time being, and I'll leave the dimensions as is, and I'll leave the zoom uh, at 100% as well. So it's going to give me the actual dimensions that I have set up in my view. And something else that's kind of interesting too is if you include the timestamp, it'll actually give you um, the date like the like cameras used to so uh, that's kind of neat we'll include that for this one and we'll hit OK so you can see the list of the ones that I just showed you I'm just gonna call this uh, 3d view 11b or actually no I should be a little more descriptive we'll say render now I didn't really set up any render settings so the render might not be that quality but one of the things that's um, interesting in here as well is you can choose to do um, just a still shot and what it'll do is it'll create a series of stills that you can then stitch together in another post editing program so that's pretty cool as well if you are doing a long animation sometimes it's better to do still shots because then say if the power goes out then you can start where you left back start where you left off Anyway, for this one it's short, so I'm going to use the AVI option and I'll say save. And it's going to give me some more options here and do some thinking. And we'll just let it do that. We'll say OK. And then it starts the process. 
So this takes a little bit, so I'm going to sign off for the time being, and then we'll take a look at how this animation looks in just a moment. Thanks for watching. Bye now.